Yo, what's going on, BrewTube? It's your host, Shannon Harris, a.k.a. The Brew Brother, and I'm here with another beer review. Today, I'm going to be doing Trillium's Nelson Dry Hop Fort Point Pell L. This bad boy is sitting at 6.6%. Trillium is hands down one of my favorite, favorite, favorite breweries, especially when it comes to IPAs, but most certainly New England-style IPAs. If you're not into the whole juice craze scene, New England IPAs are not like your typical West Coast IPAs. They're more juicy. And what I mean by juicy is more in the taste of like tropical citrus. A lot of people refer it to pineapples, oranges, mangoes, papayas. You get those kind of notes in the beer. You don't get really much that hot, bitter bite like you do with West Coast IPAs, such as Pliny the Elder, for example, or many others that's been around for years. So a lot of people thought that the New England hazy IPA was just a phase that was going to come and go. Uh, these beers have been around for maybe two, three years, and they're just getting stronger and stronger. Hands down becoming the most sought after craft beer style in the United States. And now a lot of people across the world are starting to get into it. So again, Nelson Dry Hop Four Point from Trillium Brewing. They are based in Massachusetts. And we actually got some news today from Esther, Mrs. Trillium, that they're actually looking to relocate uh, one of their uh, locations, the one that is in Boston. They do have a location in Canton as well, but it seems like they're just looking to up production and make sure that beers get out to more people and they have more space and more parking and more availability. Can't knock them for that. Us as a consumers are helping them with that change. So let's get into the pour. So like I was saying with the East Coast IPAs, this is what you're going to get. That nice, juicy, hazy color. Look, Always looking like orange juice. Some even come out darker, looking like apple cider. Um, some can even be really bright, like pineapple juice, which I experience with a lot of Trillium, Tired Hands, uh, Monkish Brewing. They're on the West Coast, and they're killing it with the hazy IPAs, Noble L Works. Those are just a few I wanted to name who are really jumping on the boat of uh, the New England IPAs. The aroma that I'm getting on this one is... Woo, a lot of hops is a lot of citrus nose that's kicking you right in the face like something tropical it's kind of like some kind of smoothie it's actually pretty damn good and that's a great thing to point out when it comes to these hazy IPAs is that that's what they want you to get that's the aroma that they want you to get with these hazy IPAs it's mostly about the aroma the soft mouth feel and then of course that juicy bite you're not going to get that straight bitter grapefruit kick that you would typically get in the IPA wow Trillium does it again uh, what was the can date on these this was actually December 14 2016 um, and it's still tasting bomb and another cool thing with these East Coast IPA is that you can actually sit on these. Uh, some of them are produced a little bit too fast, in my opinion. There has been examples of those from Trillium, uh, Tired Hands, Veil Brewing, but uh, that they just pushed out the beers a little bit too fast. But if you were to just sit on them, let them age in the fridge uh, for about two weeks, three weeks, even up to a month, they get really good with time. I had some uh, hazy IPAs or New England style IPAs. Uh, or double IPAs or triple IPAs that I sat on for a month, even two months, and went back to taste them. And it was just a whole different beer in general from when it was fresh. Got more juicier and more aroma, was able to pick up a little bit more bite in the beer. So this one is about two weeks going on three weeks old, and it's still pretty damn phenomenal. I uh, still have a couple of cans. I might even sit on them until the new year and see how they age. That's why Trillium is one of my favorite breweries. They're always dropping the juice bombs. You can catch a release at their brewery one, two, maybe even three times a week sometimes, and they're just killing it. Um, the good thing about them is that they have two locations of where they produce the beers, so you do have a pretty good chance of picking up up to a case of beer on some releases um, with no hassle, complete ease, um, unlike other breweries that are dropping these bonds where you have to line up about four, five, six, seven, eight hours before you can even purchase one four pack. But Nelson, Draha Four Point, definitely one of my favorites. 
Fort Point by itself is a pale ale. They do just have regular Fort Point that's not dry hop. Um, but Fort Point has always been one of my favorite pale ales. Uh, they've been dropping these bombs for quite some time from double dry hop to Nelson to Citra uh, to Galaxy dry hop. I mean, they, every Fort Point variant that they put out has been good. Some of my other favorites from Trillium is Conger Street. Um, A Street was pretty good. Um, Cutting Tiles dialed in, just to name a few. They also make Stouts and Sour. They do have a Stout series and a Sour series that is pretty decent as well. But I thank y'all for tuning in again. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. That was my somewhat all over the place review of Trillium Brewing's Nelson Dry Hop Fort Point. I will have more beers coming soon. We are going into 2017, so you will see a lot more. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in, and this one's for you. Cheers.